This is The Chris Abraham Show. Welcome to the Chris Abraham Show. This is season four, episode 21. Vingt-un, 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 Anyway, today is about update on my slow rowing progress. <clears throat> I'm so happy to have you here so happy you're back here i've been trying to deal with uh issues of the uh recording being low so i will uh try to check every um i will always check and then i will try to replace the voice files with um i will try to replace the voice files with um compressed and normalized files if it's too low when I'm listening to it. I'm still trying to tweak the um, recorder. So anyway, I want to give you a report. It is, last night was day six of my uh, rowing every night. Uh, in a perfect world, rowing 10,000 meters every night. But I only did, um, I only did 50 something minutes yesterday. Anyway, I'll be right back. Welcome back. This is the Chris Abraham Show, nay, formerly known as Chris Cast. This is season four, episode 21. Uh, and um, my name's Chris Abraham. So I started a group on Facebook called Slow Rowing, but apparently I previously started a group called Slow Row which I think sounds better, but you let me know which one we're gonna go with because I also have a slow row subreddit and a slow rowing subreddit. The reason why I chose slow rowing is because I also created slow jogging, which is a, um, which is a, uh, a, a whole thing uh, designed by a a doctor in uh, or an intellectual in Japan who decided that um, spending the rest of your life rowing, sorry, run, jogging slowly at a shuffle's pace um, to the point where you can smile, be happy, do it forever, and um, carry on a conversation is the best way to get fit because it's you're the least likely to get injured, you're the least likely to get sore. You're the least likely to hate doing it. And it's the kind of thing that you can do with um, almost very literally your street clothes on. But as I am as big as a house currently, I've decided to take everything that I've learned from my research about slow jogging and um, also the Maffetone method and all those other things in addition to a book um, I call Slow Row, I think it's like Breathe and it's I think by a guy named D.P. Ordway. He came out with a book where he basically says that there's nothing wrong and everything good 
about getting onto a Concept 2 or, or other type of rowing machine and uh, rowing moderately. Now, I've taken moderately to the newest level because I encourage you to row as I row as slowly as you want. Just make sure that you know you keep the tension on the uh, chain uh, of your rower and don't literally pretend like you are in slow motion. But just you know, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. As I said before, row as though you're in Central Park, you're on the lake or the pond, and you've just, with your, with your paramour, and you pay for a rowboat, and you're in your street clothes, and you're in your nice, nice street clothes because you're on a date. It's either your date night, or a first or second date, or whatever. And you're there to impress, and you're there to seduce, and you're there to romance. So what you need to do is get into the boat and start rowing, enjoy the sun, but don't initiate flop sweat, and don't initiate uh, uh, pit darkening, and do not uh, become competitive where you are huffing and puffing. Um, do not uh, make sure that you're able to remain with enough breath so as to woo, so as to recite love poems or mention um, your appreciation for the beautiful day or the beautiful person across from you. And that is what slow rowing is. So yesterday was day six of the rest of my life. And while I didn't do uh, an hour, I did close to an hour. And um, by close to an hour, I can tell you, I did. La, 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 la. I did about 58 minutes out of an hour and uh, about uh, almost, almost 10,000 meters. So it was technically um, successful. But uh, one thing that I did do, okay, so the first five days, I really was just la, 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 la. And mostly my pace per 500 meters was 310, 305, 320. Um, but yesterday I did a hard 20 and my rate went down, you know, to uh, 128. Um, that's, that can't be true. Yeah, yeah, one, 128, 150, that kind of thing. So, like, I was stepping it up. Here's the thing I need to remind you, though. Even though, if you're very sedentary, which I assume you are, considering you want to do, uh, you want to slow row for the rest of your life, you want to perform moderate exercise so as to keep your body limber, nimble, um, functional, uh, flexible, uh, mobile and healthy, um, I assume that you are just starting out. So it's really important to take my, you know, description literally, row slow. I don't want you to ever be out of breath. I don't want you to really even sweat on the, on the rower. But what I'm going to tell you is that uh, after a couple days of this, doing this every night, when you get in and out of the shower or whatever, you're going to feel uh, your muscles. You're not going to feel the kind of pain you get after CrossFit or after sprints or after uh, doing weightlifting with the trainer <coughs> at the gym. But you are going to feel uh, you're going to feel your hamstrings. You're going to feel your glutes. You're going to feel your quads. There's going to be tightness in there. I haven't started stretching yet, but I think I'm probably going to start stretching because I do not want to have tight hamstrings and that sort of thing because I don't want to knot up. I don't want to end up having any lower back problems or problems with my, um, my lumbago or my various and sundry nerves pinching. 
and um, but I want you to know that that's that'll show you that even if you just exercise for an hour every day even at the lowest lowest stroke rate and the lowest intensity your body is going to benefit from it and you tell me if you follow this plan after a few days whether or not getting in and out of the shower is just you can feel a little bit more um, a little bit more um, I don't know stiffness in your tendons a little bit more um, soreness in your uh, in your hamstrings and glute and that sort of thing so I think that's very encouraging but uh, I also have been watching some really good movies and the next episode I will tell you about some of the movies I've been watching but I think it's a great opportunity uh, to really get in there uh, and I really encourage myself and my goal from now on is to try to aim at doing a full 90 minutes per per row you know so that I can match the general watch time of a movie as opposed to having to you know do uh, two-thirds and then leave one-third remaining so I am going to try to match my exercise no reason to honk I'm gonna try to match my exercising to the length of what I watch um, that's not the case when I watch dramas, right? Because dramas are about 45 minutes complete. If I watch them on YouTube TV that have a ton of commercials, maybe it'll even be an hour. But if I choose something like a drama, uh, I'll watch it on YouTube TV with commercials or on Hulu. If I am watching a comedy and it's only half an hour, watch two. Um, but if it's a movie, like if, if it's a good movie and, I, and I'm enjoying it, I'm really going to try to make it for the whole um, 90 minutes or, or two hours. Um, and in addition to that, I'm going to write a little movie review in my notes section of my journal. And I will hopefully uh, have some recommendations for you in a couple episodes or maybe even the next episode. Um, what else? I personally have a lot of cushions on top of my rowing seat because, you know, I'm in it for the long haul and uh, I don't want, you know, a, uh, a sore butt to get in the way. I find that on my, on my, um, my spin bike, I find that I'm dissuaded because of the time it takes for your bottom to get used to a bike seat. So the ERG doesn't have anything like that for me. But I do have four or five foam uh, Concept 2 adhesive pads on, uh, on the seat. So uh, there's that. What else? Um, make sure you drink water before, during, and after. Hydration is really important. Uh, you don't realize it, but uh, even low-intensity workout for an hour um, burns, you know, uh, four, three, four, or five hundred calories. So you are... You know you are working even though it doesn't feel like it in the same way that if you walk for an hour or two you are you are exercising you know whether no matter how casually you do it anyway i guess i'll stop now and i will talk to you soon i hope you're well and after the break will come the contact info talk to you soon love you bye Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. My name is Chris Abraham. This is the Chris Abraham Show, episode four, season, sorry, season four, episode 21, I do declare. 
Uh, my name's Chris Abraham, and uh, my contact info is as follows. I am chris at abraham.su. I am plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. You can text me or call me. You can use WhatsApp or Signal or um, Telegram to find me. On Telegram, I am at Garris Corp, I think. At G-E-R-R-I-S-C-O-R-P or maybe at G-E-R-R-I-S. I don't know. I just know that's the one thing I didn't get Chris Abraham for. But uh, I'm also on Calendly.com slash Chris Abraham slash 15. And I am twitter.com slash Chris Abraham, facebook.com slash Chris Abraham, instagram.com slash Chris Abraham, youtube.com slash Chris Abraham. I am uh, facebook.com slash Chris Abraham, although I think I just said that. Um, I am chris abrahamcom for Tumblr, and I am chrisabraham.com for my personal website. And, um, I need to work on that and dumb thing uh, because I am dumb when I say and dumb. And thank you so much for coming. Next episode is season four, episode 22. And who knows what it'll be about. This isn't really one of those focus things. And I can tell that it's time to go because there are helicopters coming. And helicopters, I think, are very audible things. So I think I'm just going to cut it and I will talk to you soon. Love you. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. A demain. A bientôt. A tout à l'heure. Uh, hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Tschüssi. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. <laughs>for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time